Greetings, Grapple fans. It's Mike Quackenbush here on Free Match Monday with a free match for you. And it comes from our Season 19 premiere event, Beware the Snowman. This was live-streamed on Chikaratopia.com, and so too will all Season 19 Chikara events emanating from the Wrestle Factory. So get a boatload of Chikara over at Chikaratopia.com. And coming up right now is Travis Huckabee versus Gran Akuma, complete for you. And his opponent. Now approaching the ring from the King of New Jersey, they call him the Golden Wrestler, Travis Huckabee! Last season, we saw what an accomplished tag team wrestler Travis Huckabee has become, but he's no slouch in the singles department. What a challenge he has in front of him, though, today, Icarus, against Gran Akuma, a guy that you know very well. You know, Mike, I've, I've known Gran Akuma for over 15 years now, and ever since returning last November, he's had it in him that some of our students are a little soft. Mm -hmm. So he thinks that bullying and beating them is a way to get through to them and maybe toughen them up a little bit. I don't know if I agree with his methods. It is 2018 overall. Well, uh, Grant Akuma, since returning to Chikara action, made very short work of uh, Officer Warren Barksdale. We saw him make short work of Silverhawk. We'll see how Travis Huckabee fares today. He had an easy time getting out of that wrist lock. But something you uh, no doubt remember about Gran Akuma and has always been the case, he is an extremely well-conditioned athlete, and he's not likely to gas out early. This is a guy who can go out there and wrestle for 30, 45 minutes. He's going to be a real test for Travis. Uh, a, a test indeed, Mike. I remember many years ago, Gran Akuma went the entire length of our, one of our longest ciberneticos. Mm -hmm. So if Travis thinks that he can uh, outdo him in cardio-wise, I don't think he has a chance. When yeah. it comes to technical, technical ability, I don't know who. Travis, I've worked with for the past year, very competent in the ring. But Gran Akuma is always a little bit more violent. And that's what we'll see, is we'll see Gran Akuma switch from a technical aspect to a more violent one if Travis does do anything that Gran Akuma thinks may give him the upper hand. Yeah, boy, that's no joke. That Cybernetico that you referenced ran over an hour and a half long, and Gran Akuma was standing all the way at the end. Uh, something like 104 minutes. It was crazy how long that one was. Uh, he's just such a well-conditioned athlete, and Akuma's also very versatile. He's a great striker. He can fly. He's good on the mat. Whereas Travis, in his very young career, has mostly distinguished himself with his technical wrestling acumen. It's going to be put to the test right here as Akuma is starting to stretch him out. Thought he wanted the Gonzo surfboard. He switched behind. He has a figure fouring of the legs, a kamigatame, if you will. Travis is looking for a way out, and he found it. The past year that I've watched Travis grow and become the, the technical prowess that he has, I've noticed he watches a lot of tapes, including he was a fan. And he watched a lot of Gran Akuma's earlier work. He watches a lot of catch style over in England. So anything that Akuma puts on him, I can almost guarantee you Travis may just have a way to get out. Well, you can go back several seasons on Chikaratopia, and you'll see footage where Travis Huckabee, during his days as a fan, is seated right in the front row alongside some of his friends and family members. So yeah, that certainly bears out. And he was there in the front row for some of the biggest wins of Gran Akuma's career. So he's at a front, a literal front row seat to observe this man in action. Can he get the better of him, though? We saw in the blogs posted at ChikaraPro.com over the last 10 days, give or take, he can't be overcome with hero worship. Gran Akuma is somebody that he used to watch, but now he's got to treat him like any other wrestler in the ring. Travis cannot be intimidated, and he's certainly not going to earn the respect of Akuma that way. You're right about that, Mike. Trying to negotiate his way now. Oh, great looking back bridge. Travis Huckabee showing off his perfect form. He came out of that wrist lock right out the back door and trying to put that reverse wrist lock now on Akuma. But Akuma won't linger. He's just not going to let you torture him in that way. Akuma showed him, I can put a reverse wrist lock on every bit as good as you can. Here comes Travis. Yep, he's looking for his way out. Going off his balance. Look at that head scissor. He got it. 
Reminds me of a great escape I saw Johnny Saint do in Oberhausen, Germany more than 10 years ago. I was going to take credit for teaching Travis that, but... <laughs> you can take credit for that, that's all right. Then I will. I take credit for everything Travis does, as well as Gran Akuma. Travis looking for Juju Gatame, couldn't do it. Gran Akuma with the block, shoulders are down. That right shoulder came up at the last possible second. Akuma's just going to lift him. All, only had to lift him high enough to break the hold, and that's exactly what he did. Unlikely you're going to see any wasted motion with somebody as proficient in the ring as the lethal Gran Akuma who now will just kick away and punish Travis. Here, here comes those kicks. They start out. He's going to work over that leg. Oh. Jumping toe hold, going to lace it underneath that far pit of the knee, and then go right back over the instep. This is a very, very painful hold. I'm glad you're here with me, Mike, because most of these holds, as you may know, uh, I'm unfamiliar with the namiology of them. So having somebody who is experted with the names of wrestling maneuvers, I believe you know over a thousand. That's, that's about right, give or take. Plus or minus two. How many would you say Travis has learned of those thousands? You know, Travis is such a student of the game, and it seems like every time I see him at training, he's learned something new. He's expanding his wrestling vocabulary, and like you pointed out, he's not content just to learn one style. He knows a lot of the European styles. He knows some Lucha Libre. Uh, but, of course, the same can be said of Gran Akuma, right? He's traveled all over the place. He's got years and years of experience. He's wrestled guys from all different styles. He knows how to torture you. Take a look at this. This here, the Kamigatame being used to exploit the legs of Travis Huckabee. I'm surprised to see him let it go because he seems to enjoy punishing his opponents so much. That he does. Gran Akuma is, uh, he's never been one to shy away from just bludgeoning an opponent and then tying him up, twisting every joint. He knows every single joint. He's a great study of anatomy. And he, the only reason why he learned anatomy was just so that he could learn which ways the bodies bend and which way it doesn't bend. And he will manipulate and use every single... That's, that's an old classic. I enjoy the surfboard. The Rita Romero special, sometimes called La Tapatia, being converted to the Dragon Sleeper variation, popularized in the 1990s by Jushin Thunder Liger. Very, very painful. You can just see from the way Travis was contorted. And again, I'm surprised to see Akuma just release the hold. I can't help but wonder if he feels like this kid couldn't beat me if he wanted to. I'm getting that sense, Mike. I think Gran Akuma's toying with him at this point. Well, that would be a real mistake. It doesn't matter how experienced or inexperienced your opponent is, you cannot take him lightly. And Travis Huckabee will get the better of you if you give him an opening. Don't underestimate this kid. Oh, went right through the old school Irish whip. Well, you don't see that anymore. Travis really favoring that leg. He has been punished up and down with a short belly-to-belly -belly suplex, but he couldn't pivot on that left leg, Icarus. No, Akuma's, Akuma knows exactly what he's doing. He's going after the leg. He's, he's taking Travis down at his base. Travis is going to have a harder and harder time standing up. He's going to have a harder time being able to run and move. And Gran Akuma is just going to ground him and continue to punish him. For what reason, I don't know. Is it because he thinks he's soft? Is it because Gran Akuma just enjoys the torturing of, of students, and professional wrestlers who he, he might think are, are beneath him? Oh, he scooped him right up. He's going to look to take him for the ride all the way around. Drilled him down into the mat. He's got him covered. Woo! At the last possible second, that right shoulder blade came up off the mat. Gran Akuma had the answer for it. Travis wanted that butterfly suplex. He's got a gorgeous one. Akuma countered right out and drilled Travis down into the mat. But it wasn't enough to put him away. I don't know if this has earned him any measure of respect from Gran Akuma, though. Look, he just slapped him in the face. What a sign of disrespect. That's, that's the old OGA, the old Gran Akuma. Definitely a disrespectful man when it comes to anyone who he deems doesn't have the mustard, doesn't have the gas to be in the ring. Gran Akuma might feel like Travis Huckabee is unworthy of facing him, but Travis is given as good as he gets. Forearms and headbutts from the Golden Grappler. That one was intercepted. Akuma rings the arm all the way around, unwinds him too high with a kick. Travis was ready for it. He's in a waist lock, and now a sleeper hold. Akuma's caught him. No, he just wanted to stun him for a second all the way around, down as he got Huracan. No, he doesn't have sunset. He's got him with a folding press. Oh, I thought he had him. Did he get him? No. It was rather very close. 
good to see Travis isn't giving up. He's still giving it his all. He's still going out there. He's still going for this goal. Oh, he got him with a small package. Three, he got him. Travis got him. Akula oh. was just a second too late getting his shoulders off the mat. Travis Huckabee with a big win. 